Welcome back to Tran Wins Between the Stars. We've arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. There doesn't appear to be anything here. My, can you scan the area? I detect irregular radiation readings coming from the middle of the cluster. Let's take a look. Search for clues about frigate E-32's whereabouts in the asteroid field. Captain, we found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Affirmative. My, prepare the analysis module. Preparing the scan system. The scanning system lets you scan enemy ships and objects. This lets you gather information in battle, such as the enemy's level, their weak points, or additional event-related information. Aim and keep right mouse button held to scan the radiation's origin. Scan complete, Captain. It's a fragment of the freighter's calibration reticle. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. My. Can you follow the radiation signature? Comparing samples. Similar readings found in nearby coordinates. Establishing route. Follow the radiation signal. I swapped the W S A D Q E. I swapped the turn, roll, and Dive and climb keys. Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? Affirmative. Ex Cleo, commander of the starship insurrection of the pirate fleet here. I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Surrender, or we'll open fire. This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar Republic. I demand you halt your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of chunk? <laughs> you asked for it. Crew to arms. Initiate cloaking. Activate pulsar. Begin barrage.
Captain, the ship's remains correspond to the freighter we've been searching for. We have to look for survivors and confirm the shipment was in fact stolen. Preparing to board. Wait. I still keep getting my climb and dive buttons mixed up. I'm not quite sure also why it drops me out of hyper uh, warp warp drive. At that time it's because I approached, but the other times I don't know. More useless stuff. You enter what's left of the freighter as the bay doors close behind you. Within it, you find the remains of what used to be an enormous commercial freighter. You can see all sorts of supplies and objects on the floor, accompanied by what were once their crew. After some time searching the corridors, you come to a passageway with two possible paths. Let's go to the right. Your crew and you advance through the corridor you've chosen. The further in the ship you go, the more you get the feeling that you are not alone. After a while, you reach another crossway. Let's go to the right. After walking in circles, you arrive at a hallway and a bay door that opens in front of you. Through the door frame and still within the darkness, you're able to make out a faint light. Let's enter. As soon as you enter the bay doors, as soon as you enter the bay, doors close and lights turn on. At the end of the room, you see a raw protonite shipment stacked in rows that emit light rays of light. A robotic voice surprises you. It seems to be the ship's my system. Intruders detected in the loading bay. Activating security protocol. Opening evacuation bay doors. Halt! We are the crew of the Genesis of the Republic. The AI waits a few seconds and begins to speak again. Opening suspended. Validating credentials. Error. They are intruders. I don't know what my charisma is. Is that grayed out? I demand to speak with the captain. Wow, I got a three. Your charisma level doesn't allow you to succeed. The captain has no time to speak with intruders. Establishing analysis. Probability of intruders not being identified as intruders, 100%. The bay doors begin to open, and the crew and yourself hold on to what you can. The force of the vacuum pulls you forcefully toward them. The weakest of your crew members begin to have trouble holding on. If you open the bay doors, the shipment will be lost. Negative. The shipment has been anchored here to ensure its security. You can see the chests have mechanical anchors latched to the floor, although some are completely damaged. Okay then, we are intruders. Zero percent probability that the intruders are identified as intruders. Establishing analysis. Error. The AI begins to calculate probabilities why it's confused. <sighs> what? <laughs> Whatever. Only someone who isn't an intruder would claim they are. If the intruder claims it is an intruder, probability protocol, incompatible. 
As it exclaims different errors, you hear the voice shut down due to a logic error. The bay doors closed. You are now out of danger. Remind me never to upset our Mai. You load the chest of prototype on the ship, and you look for registry of what could have happened. The engineers search for the few working terminals left, but all data appears to be corrupt. You make a security copy to be able to study it later. Let's go back to the station to inform Susan. What kind of pirates assault a protonite freighter just to abandon it? X-Player's weapons do not correspond to the radiation we've been following. Captain, the coded data seems to follow the same pattern obtained in the slaver's base. Our team can't undertake an investigation. We haven't found enough matches. Go back to the space station and inform Susan of the situation. Go to the docks to meet up with Susan White. Alright, so I'm gonna stop after I get to the station because I need to edit this and upload it for Friday. I don't know if the game has a save feature, I might have to redo the whole thing, but... After arriving at the station, you go to the docking port where your ship is located. In it, you spot Susan, who rushes out to meet you. You returned. Have you found anything? Susan looks at you expectantly, waiting for an answer. We found the freighter. There weren't any survivors. Susan looks shocked by the news. After a few seconds, she recovers and begins to speak. That can't be. I knew the pilot ever since we were kids. Were you able to recover the cargo? Yes, we were able to recover it. Well, at least there's some good news. Our crew is currently heavily invested in the repair work. Since you need the ship as soon as possible, maybe your engineers could help us. Can you process the protonite slabs and fabricate a new ion reactor? Of course. We'll get right on it. You have obtained your first blueprint, and with it, the specified amount of materials you need to create that object within the department section of your inventory. In this section, you will find different areas that your crew members can work on. The engineering workshop allows the creation of objects via blueprints and the required materials. The salvage workshop allows you to destroy weapons and systems to obtain resources. The sick bay is a zone destined to heal your crew members' life points and diseases. The investigation center allows you to study different objects to progress and events, obtain cures to different viruses, and obtain blueprints that let you procure better weapons than those of standard quality. Press I to access the inventory. Go to the department screen in inventory and scrap the raw protonite. With the obtained materials, fabricate an ion reactor. Additional small reactor located on the outside of the ship's hull. Added to the reactors of a ship increases the power of the propellers and offers a greater speed in combat, making our ship more difficult to hit. Can I not heal my dude yet? Susan examines the ion reactor closely. An excellent job. With this, we'll have everything we need to finish the repairs. I have another favor to ask you in the meantime while we finish things up. Speak with me when you are good to go. Can I heal him? Come on. There we go. I was clicking that earlier, but it wasn't letting me. We've stopped receiving protonized shipments. After the attack on the freighter, we can't guarantee the commercial route's security to the mining stations of the sector. Inspector Howard Huggins must fill out his forms immediately, transport him, and evaluate the station's status. Well, we have a long way to go. We should depart. Engines on maximum drive. 
Unauthorized order. You lack bridge privileges. So now I have a babysitter? Is the Republic sending you to watch over me? It's a matter of security, Mr. Huggins. The last Protonite shipment was assaulted. Captains are not what they used to be. If a pirate ship attacked me, there wouldn't be enough space for them to hide. We're sure of that. All right, let me go ahead and re-equip my ship, and then we'll see if I can save and exit the game. If not, I'll just have to replay everything up to now, then we'll pick it back up. So it turns out there is no saving. It just starts you from the very beginning. And on this run through, I found almost nothing but commons. <laughs> or to the left this time, I doubt it matters. After a while, you reach another crossway. Let's go to the right this time. One of the specialists says, Captain, I think we've been here already. Go to the left. And then left again. Right, and then left. Right, and right. I don't like the feeling of this. Captain, this looks like the Protonite ship, and we found it. One of the scientists advances within the interior of the chamber, leaving you behind. It could be a trap. A robotic voice surprised you. It appears to be the ship's my system. Intruders detected on board. Activate security protocol. Closing bay doors. We have no other option. Alright, uh... Although we can just do the intruders thing, let's see if we can win this time on the charisma check. They get a star? I don't know what that means. Your charisma allows you to succeed. Captain, intruders in the docking bay wish to speak with you. After a few moments in silence, the system speaks once again. I'm afraid the captain has been indisposed. Temporal register error E2J seconds. Since the plasma ray impacted against the command bridge, he is assuredly in the restroom. Establishing analysis. Probability of intruders not being identified as intruders 100%. The bay doors begin to open and the crew... And yourself, hold on to what you can. The force of the vacuum pulls you forcefully toward them. Okay, then, we are intruders. Let's try what are your orders, Mai, this time. Confused by the question, the AI answers. The Mai system has to ensure the security of the shipment and is tasked with eliminating the intruders who would take it. If we want to protect the shipment, you would be the intruder that is jeopardizing it. Due to the premise, the system continues. Analysis error. Fatal logical error. Intruder destruction. The bay doors close behind you, eliminating the risk of being expelled through them, and the AI continues a litany of errors until it comes to the conclusion that it must eliminate itself. You hear its voice turn off as you ensure everyone is safe. That was close. Let's return to the Genesis with the shipment. Alright, so this is where we last left off. Accepting this contract. This is all the loot I found. No purples this time. Well, we have a long way to go. We should depart. Engines on maximum drive. What the hell? These transport ships are not ours. It seems they found a more interesting intermediary than your company, Mr. Huggins. This can't be. We have to register this immediately. At any moment in the game, you can access photo mode. In it, time will halt, and you will have complete control over the camera and its parameters in order to take spectacular pictures. Save them directly to your computer or press the button to hide the interface and take a screen cap with Steam's own system. Press P to enter photo mode. Press left mouse button to immobilize the camera. Adjust photography values to your liking and take a picture. Alright, so photo mode. Barely see my ship in there. I was hoping to get my ship in the background, but I can't get a very good shot. I will use a. Uh, do this one.
When the foreman finds out, heads will roll. I was expecting to have to fight. <laughs> We have to go back to the station now. What happened? I forgot my lunch. Mr. Huggins. False alarm, I found it. Captain, there's no sign of activity on the station. It looks completely abandoned. We should dock and discover what's going on here. I'll stay on the ship. Uh. Co covering your backs. Get in close and board the station in order to discover what's happened. I knew that there was only one was hoping to find some sort of bonus. A shadowy ruined entrance gives way to an abandoned station. The dock bay doors open and the captain and his crew arrive to a great reception hall. It currently only has emergency lights on that show the remains of broken furniture strewn around the floor, forming large mounds of rubble. Look for survivors. From within the darkness, the crew discovers buried bodies among the remains of the station. Upon digging one up, they discover that he is still alive. They came! He resisted! The man moves his arm slowly and pulls out his ID card. He offers it to you and finally dies. Grab the ID card, then let's go. You advance through one of the hallways, guided only by the emergency lights. On the walls, you can see scratch marks and blood illuminated softly. After a while advancing, you reach a completely sealed bay door. Next to it, you see a small keycard reader. It's currently inoperable. You need to reactivate the energy flow in order to advance. You search the chamber for an energy terminal to re-establish the systems. After a few minutes, you find a room that contains generators. The head of the engineering team comes near you. Captain, we've discovered an anomaly in the generators. We could use the remains of one of the destroyed machines to make them work again. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess this is probably like my engineers have a four points or three dice total of. I don't know. I guess that's a zero or something. Your crew's system upgrade level allows you to succeed. The team analyzes the damage with minute care and prepares a temporary solution. A few minutes later, they've constructed an apparatus that allows the energy flow to temporarily function. Great job, team. Let's continue. You advance through one of the hallways. On the walls, you can see scratch marks and blood. You reach a completely sealed bay door. Next to it, you can see a small keycard reader. We introduce the ID card. You advance through the hallway and search the different rooms that you find. You arrive to the bridge, where a log of recent dockings or events must be. The large computer that occupies the room is completely destroyed. You continue advancing throughout the smaller chambers without any luck finding anyone, nor clues as to what could have happened. In one of the workshops, you find plants or weapons prototype. Maybe your engineers can make use of them. Let's leave this station. There's nothing left to see. over the station there are no survivors but but this can't be happening we have to inspect the last station i think i've had enough we should head back this oversteps your jurisdiction mr huggins you can come with us or stay here you decide this is an outrage you guys are kidnapping me preparing the jettison hatch for immediate exit all right, fine. I'll go with you. Investigate the last station. You finally arrive to the last station. After hearing Inspector Huggins' complaints the entire time, you can't wait to finish the mission. Everything looks calm on the station when suddenly a group of ships appear in the area. They are pirate ships. You recognize ex Pilo's emblem on their hulls. Maybe they want revenge? There's no time to lose. You order your crew to prepare to defend this station. Everyone, to your posts. Captain. The station is under attack. I told you we should have gone back. We can still turn the ship around. Control yourself, Mr. Huggins. We won't abandon any innocents. Crew, stay alert. We'll hold off the enemy attack. Sir, yes, sir.
After the skirmish, the mining station's director thanks you. Thanks, Captain. Those pirates appeared out of nowhere. They wanted to keep our protonite extraction. We're lucky you arrived when you did. Are these attacks normal? The director responds in a nervous tone. No! This area is usually very peaceful, but the past few days there have been a few skirmishes between pirates and trade ships. But this exceeds any other incident we've had to date. Do you have any information that could be deemed useful? You ask the director if he has any relevant information that could shed some light on the pirate's intentions. He responds, I have no idea what they could want besides our protonite. Although an attack to this scale, it just isn't logical. Oh, wait a moment. The director disappears from the visor only to return a short time later. I've been informed that we've recovered an encrypted transmission on one of the ships. Maybe it'll help you. Thank you, Chief. Captain, the corrupt transmission corresponds to the rest of the data patterns. Is it possible to begin an investigation, Crewman Burton? The science team currently believes we have enough data to decode everything. We will begin right away. Understood. I look here to see if anybody's leveled up. Coded data that we've received on our latest missions. Once we have the data in full, we'll be able to conduct an investigation in order to decipher it. Our work here is done. Let's head back to the station. I think I need a vacation. Return to Antares port. Go to Pulsar ship repair to speak with Susan. Once back at the station, Howard says his goodbyes with a few words and he leaves the group. Susan comes up to you with a more cheerful demeanor. You're finally back. Inspector Huggins looked a bit out of place. Did everything go well? Is there any place in the sector that isn't ridden with death? The truth is, with the organization of the Great Summit, the Republic patrols have been reduced in order to be called back to headquarters. It's provisional, but it looks like it was enough to cause all of this. Yes, we'll present ourselves as soon as possible. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Susan looks away for a few seconds, but recomposes herself and resumes the chat rapidly. In any case, we have good news. It was tough, but your ship's repairs have been completed. I guess this is goodbye. Don't be strangers and come visit us if you're ever back in this sector. Of course, we'll see each other again. Captain, our scanners detect multiple signals in the area. Maybe we should investigate them before warping to Tacit Stella. Perhaps someone needs our help. <laughs> More weapons. Now I can only equip. It only seems it will let me equip only one missile at a time. So, otherwise, I'd probably try to arm myself with as many missiles as possible and and uh, treat it as a gunboat. We're gonna sell one of these so I can get some credits. Because I haven't been opening any of my devices. I have, no, I have no idea how long this prologue lasts for, but I believe I get to keep the stash on future playthroughs. So, um, so let's go ahead and sell off one of these. That'll give me a little bit of credits to run with. <laughs> 